Thank you, Mr. Green. Uh, Ms. DeGette, for questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Mendel, you said in your testimony that in 2005 you had a violation for mishandling of animals. Is that correct? That's correct. Did you recall any of your product at that time? No, ma'am. And uh, so what was the financial result for your company of, of that uh, violation in 2005? Financially, no. Yes. There was none. Did you install video cameras after that violation in 2005? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. What, what other further steps did you take uh, in 2005 to increase the surveillance over the handling of the animals? I don't believe we increased surveillance. We rewrote our programs and retrained our employees and went on an aggressive monthly uh, training program with with all of our employees. Okay. And then um, after the recall in 2007, how, what was the financial impact on your company then? I'm sorry, in 2008, this year. It's devastated. What, what was, what's the price figure for devastated? I couldn't imagine. Hundreds of millions yes. of dollars? Yes, ma'am. And um, after that, then you installed the video cameras, correct? Yes, ma'am. And how much did that cost you? Oh, yes. I did do the video cameras before I knew there was going to be a recall. I'm sorry. When did you do the, re the video cameras? When we realized there was an inhumane treatment. Well, when was that? You learned, you learned I think, according to your written testimony, you learned about the, the videotape in early February of this year. So when did you install the cameras? I think we ordered them within the next three or four days. Okay. And um, how long after you learned about the videotape did you uh, hear from the U.S.? And so at that time, even though you knew about the videotape and the treatment of the animals, you uh, did, did nothing, your company did nothing to voluntarily recall the beef, did you? No. There was In one. fact, it wasn't until you heard from the uh, USDA about the second tape and when they urged you to do a voluntary recall, that you then complied with that voluntary recall, right? That's, that's correct. So how long first after week. the first the learning of the first tape did you learn about the second? I believe the second tape we didn't we didn't hear or see, and I and I haven't seen it till today. I don't think we heard about the second tape for about uh, ten days. Ten days after the first tape. Yes, ma'am. And um, and it was and, and so what your what your testimony is that you ordered the video cameras after the first tape, but before the second before the second. Yes, ma'am. When we realized there was an inhumane issue, we we thought it was the only way that we could resolve it, and we went ahead and installed them. I think. Okay. We had them in and now, so. Um, uh, have you ever recalled products before, sir? No. And have you been ever been advised by the U.S.? So, so in 2005, you didn't recall any product, correct? I'm sorry? In 2005, when you received the citation from the USDA for mishandling of animals, you did not recall any product, correct? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, now, I want to ask you, of the, of the down cows that we've seen in the videotapes today, which is the committee beefs and the food supply, would a consumer going into a grocery store be able to know, or, or a, a, a school serving this beef in a, in a school lunch, be able to know whether meat from that cow or from that lot of cows was in the meat that was being served in their facility? Not that exact cow, no. Would they be able to know uh, about w the cows from that lot, whether they were in the meat that was yes. being served? How would they know that? They would know. We have a lotting system that that uh, every 60 cows is a lot. And then, and then, uh, so what? What happens after that lot then goes to be processed? Well, it's it's documented. We can tell where that lot came from. We know who's it. We know whose cows are in that lot. Well, you know, you know which cows are in the lot when you send it to be processed, correct? Yes. 
And then what happens to that lot number after it's sent to be processed, say, into Hamburger? Um, I believe we still maintain that lot. I okay. think we can but trace do you it. Know, do you know whether that lot information is contained? Because when they make hamburger, I'm sure you know this, you're in the business, and I'm just a congressperson. But when, when they send the lots of cows to, to the processors to be processed into hang, hamburgers, they take meat from a number of different lots, correct? No, those lot. Well, yes. Yes, Probably they do. Probably four or five lots mixed in that one. Exactly. Load. Yes, exactly. And there's no federal requirement right now that the numbers from those lots that are mixed into that hamburger be documented which lots went into that hamburger. Did you know that? Yes, I do know that. So therefore, when the person at the local elementary school or when the consumer at Safeway buys a pack of ground beef. They have no idea whether the cows from the lot that were down cows at your at your plant were contained in that package of hamburger, correct? Correct. And from what you're saying, you keep, you document which cows go into which lot, correct? Correct. And you document then which lots go to the processing facilities, correct? Well, I have a processing. I make ground beef in house. Okay. Uh, same building. So, so you would have the ability then to trace back. To trace, do trace back, correct? Yes, ma'am. And that would probably help you financially in your business because if if some ground beef was discovered that was had salmonella or E. coli or whatever, it could be traced back to that particular lot, and then you could figure out what happened and you could recall that amount, correct? Yes, ma'am. And that that that's probably easy to do within the industry, isn't it? It's easy to do for with a single source supplier like myself, because I don't bring meat from the outside. It's all my beef. Um, if it's a, a standalone grinder, they might buy meat from ten different people. But they could still figure out those lots, couldn't they? They could figure it out, and it'd be it'd be a lot harder. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Burgess, for questions, please. 